tennis spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Exciting day today. Exciting Wilson day today. Um, I've had people ask me about this racket, the Wilson 6-1 Pro Staff Classic, or they call it the Wilson Classic 6.1, Pro Staff Classic 6.1. Man, I remember when I used to sell these like hotcakes, number one selling racket. Um, man, how many years ago was that? Jesus, 1990, uh, right in around there. Um, man, this was a was top selling racket for years. And this is one of the original ones that I got. So this is a 5.8 grip. Um, I just changed the grip because the grip was just literally coming apart. But this is one of the original ones from uh, those years. Okay. And I also got one of these 85s from back in the day. Like this isn't one of those remakes. This is an original Pro Staff mid-size 85. It even says mid-size here. And it's, look at the square that says the grip size. Like the newer ones is round, um, and it actually says Pro Staff 85 on the side. So these are one of the original ones, and it's got a white cap. Uh, I don't, I mean, I know you guys are all looking for the St. Vincent ones. Uh, I can't tell if that's a St. Vincent one, because usually it would say there, but that thing's probably long gone. A little sticker thing. Um, there's some numbers there. Oh, BX, BXO, it says right there. I think for all you guys who know what that means, I think it says BXO. Yeah, BXO. It's There's three numbers on the bottom that's etched, and that's what it says, BXO. Uh, is that a St. Vincent one? If you know, let me know. Maybe uh, this is worth something. All right, um, and then we got the current uh, Pro Staff RF 97. So we're gonna actually uh, play around with these today and see uh, what we get in numbers, okay? Obviously, there's been a ton of Pro Staffs in between this one and this one, because we're talking about literally 30 years of Pro Staffs. So, but these are the ones that I have, my, you know, I could get my hands on to analyze for you. But from what, you know, your comments are saying, you like these two and you want me to analyze these two for you. And that's what I'm going to do today. Okay. My editor just brought up something. Um, a watcher wanted me to also add this one to it. Uh, this is just a standard... Pro Staff 97. Uh, this particular one is the countervail. So this is the 11.1 uh, ounce uh, Pro Staff. So I'm just going to add that to the mix. Uh, this is obviously going to be lighter than the three, but somebody wanted to see it mixed in with uh, some of these. Okay. So I'm going to be doing four rackets today. So let's get started. Let's pour it out. I'm going to start with the Pro Staff um, 97 countervail non-RF three twenty millimeters six one ninety five classic man that feels good this is actually the non-shiny one too. This is the dull finish. I remember there was a dull finish and a and a shiny finish. So the grip size are a little off. I get it. These, this was a three eighths. This is a five eighths. But that's all I could get my hands on. Um, Wow, that's crazy. Uh, 310. 
and the 85 is a half. Three twenty. It's an original grip. Yep, yeah, that's fairway. It's a faded out fairway. That's crazy. So it must be original grip on there. All right. So the Fed is a quarter. Three one seven. Three seventeen millimeters. Okay. Let's hit the scale. At the scale. Start with the mid since that's on the top there. Three fifty four, three hundred and fifty four grams. Strong weight. Is it three or four? It's a it's, it's three. a three. Three fifty three. Sorry, three fifty three. Let's see what the swing weight is. Three thirty seven. We got the Fed, current Fed, Three sixty on the dot. Wow, that's like pro stock. 360 on the dot. 333. Okay. Standard pro staff. 11 ouncer before strings, 332.5. Okay. Oh, did that change? Do a reset on that one. Okay, I see three thirty. Move back up to 331. Okay, so 331. 
take a look. Try it again. Three thirty one point five. Okay. And then the swing weight. Three thirteen on the swing weight. All right. All right, let's go analyze. All right, so let's analyze the numbers of the four rackets. Um, what this tells me is we've actually come a long way since the 80s uh, and the 90s, actually. Uh, as this, this 85 was out in the 80s. And look at the weight. I mean, that's pretty heavy. That's even heavier than the current uh, RF, right? And it's a 17 beam. Look how thin that puppy was, right? Um, so this thing that Sampras was serving a ton with you know, is a hard racket to play with. And that's why he's not using it today. Uh, but, you know, he was big, strong dude back then um, with a big serve. And he strung that at like, like, oh man, was it 60 pounds or 70 pounds with the gut? Man, that thing was like a straight up board. I don't know how he generated such a big serve with it, but um, uh, yeah, it's crazy. But everybody else, you know, hit with a racket just like it too. So, so 353 is, is super heavy. It's got a high swing weight. So a lot of mass coming through. Uh, balance, pretty head heavy on that too. Uh, actually, yeah, this is between the three of the heaviest, heavier rackets. That's that's got the highest balance. So, so with that 17 uh, millimeter beam, it, it it comes out at a 62 on the stiffness, which which kind of makes sense. I could probably envision this maybe being a little lower, but uh, being that it's probably graphite what do they used to call this stuff and i forget now it's a composite of graphite and uh there it is kevlar and it's braided so that makes it a little stiffer but the thin beam makes it flexible all right going into the late 80s um pro staff 95 so that's the heaviest racket of all of these. So at 360, I mean, that, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, that's kind of like current pro stock of, of most rackets. Uh, I would say Feds is there, Novax is right about there. Um, most of them are about that weight. Swing weight's actually a little less than uh, the 85. Balance. Is it's a lot head lighter. Like, man, I, when I when I dropped it on that balance board, I was like, whoa, that's pretty head light. But the weight seems to be, you know, a lot of that weight seems to be in that handle, um, so that you can generate a little more head speed with that 95. But we used to sell a ton of those. We used to sell a ton of these 85s too. So these were like top selling rackets in their day. Uh, the thing that did surprise me was this eight, the 72 on the stiffness scale was a little surprising to me. Uh, it's got supposedly the same composite as the 85 with that 80-20, 80% uh, 80, 80 graphite, 20% Kevlar. But for some reason, it's stiffer. I mean, I know it's a 21 beam, but that's, that's a little on the high side. But I'm guessing uh, you make it thicker with the same composite, you get a higher stiffness. 
rating. That's just my guess. This is just from my research, like that that I've seen what this, that particular racket comes out at. Okay, so now to modern day, um, the Fed. So 21.5 beam, real close to that Pro Staff 95. Uh, the weight, definitely lighter than these two. Okay, and that's the heaviest racket out right now. That RF Pro Staff is the heaviest out right now. And it, it's not, it doesn't compare to what it was, you know, back in the 80s and the 90s on those player sticks. Uh, the swing weight, lowest, right? Not much, but, you know, definitely lower than that 6195. The balance is kind of in between the two. It's not super headlight like the 6195, um, but it's it's kind of up where the 85 is at 317. So you don't have a super headlight racket, but it's headlight enough to wield that uh, 3, 347 weight, you know, to get it through the air. Uh, 68 makes good sense. I mean, it's just, I think it's the composite uh, the, the braided graphite in that RF that makes it makes it a 68. That could definitely be lower, in my opinion. Um, now, going to the regular one, the non-RF, okay? So this particular one is the CV version, okay? Uh, definitely lighter overall. Uh, we know that because it starts off lighter. The swing weight, definitely lighter because it starts off lighter. The balance, although, though, is actually on the higher side. The balance actually has it more like the 85. So when you lighten up a racket, you put it more towards the head. So, so that makes sense to me, that there's more weight towards the head when it lightens up, when, this, when it lightens up to there. Um, now, with the CV version, this actually becomes a 65 on the flex. Without the CV, it actually becomes a 66 on the stiffness. So, but we have the CV, so it's one point less stiff at 65. Okay? So out of all these, this is actually very interesting. Like, in the last 30 years, rackets have gotten lighter. We all know that. Uh, rackets have gotten headlighter right somewhat depending on if you're talking about the the heaviest of all actually no i take that back that pro staff 95 you know it clocks in at 310 that's an anomaly to me um yeah actually the swing weight and the balance uh hasn't changed that much from let's say the 85 to the rf it's just the total weight that's changed. If you want to bring the 80s back to your game, uh, or even the 90s, early part of the 90s, uh, get yourself that RF95, because that racket should feel very nostalgic to you, um, especially if you played with that 6195 from back in the day. Like that's going to be as close as you're going to get without buying one, one of these off of eBay. Um, for the standard non-heavy, go with the regular. The regular one will kind of kind of get you the same feel without you know toting around a heavy, heavy racket. So if you want a classic pro staff feel, that standard one would be a good one to get because that RF is the heaviest made now. Um, as you can see, I mean, most of this other stuff, hasn't changed a ton you know except for like you went from a 17 beam after that you, you got thicker here right um the weight has definitely like i said gone lower you know we we've lost um a lot of weight um that may be attributed to why more people complain about tennis elbow because weight is actually good for tennis elbow but, eh, but I mean, I used to hear a lot of people about, you know, tennis elbow with this racket too. So, 
Um, you know, it depends on the player. Maybe they overdid it. Okay. If you have, I know this is going to be a huge subject and there's going to be a ton of comments on this. So go ahead and shoot those over. Um, you guys are in the know because you guys analyze this stuff um, a lot too. And I enjoy that. So go ahead and send those questions. Go ahead and answer each other's questions. And I'll try to chime in as, um, as soon as I can. Okay. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.